put my stunner shades on because I'm just too bright. We're on our way to the Hamptons, Maybelline. What up? I am not the victim of this love affair. You can make me go away. I don't really care if it's getting fair. I just want to love you, babe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you saw from the intro to today's video, I was recently in the Hamptons with Maybelline and it was one of the most incredible experiences. It was so amazing. Never did I think I would see the day that I would go to the Hamptons. I just feel like it's a very New York thing, which is why Maybelline brought us there since Maybelline is a New York brand. Um, but it was just overall an amazing opportunity and it was so relaxing and just getting to hang out with everyone. I kind of just felt like a giant slumber party and I originally was going to make a vlog out of the trip but as I was editing the footage I realized that I didn't really do the product justice and they came out with such incredible stuff while we were there that I really felt the need to use the product give you guys a first impressions um, use it in a makeup look which is what I have on today and just swatch everything because I don't know about you guys wherever else you are in this world but here in the US when it comes to drugstore products they never really have testers so you can't swatch the product in store so you kind of go in and buy stuff and then hope you like it when you get home so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to swatch everything since there are a variety of blushes and lip colors and eyeshadow palettes um, a bronzer palette there's so much so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to swatch everything and go over it in detail and also show you guys some footage from the trip in the intro and outro to this video so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start by talking about the City Mini Palettes. I did use one previously in a first impressions video and I swatched all of the City Mini Palettes in that video. So if you guys are interested, just click the little eye in the corner and the video should pop up. For today, I used the Rooftop Bronze Palette and I could easily see this becoming there goes the palette. I could easily see this becoming an everyday palette for a lot of people. It is completely shimmery, however, which is the case with a lot of the City Mini palettes, or they have one to two matte shades in there that aren't really transition shades. So I could see how you might have to grab some other shadows that you already own, especially matte shadows and transition shadows. But overall, the color selection of each palette was done really, really well. They're super pigmented and they do have quite a bit of fallout. So I would recommend that you do your eyes first before your base like I did today, just as an extra precaution to not ruin your foundation. But overall, they are a high, high quality uh, for the size and the price. This next product I was especially impressed by, mainly because I feel like it tops my Trooper Kat Von D liner, which is the only liner I use these days. This is the Curvitude liner, and I just find it really user-friendly. I don't know, there's something about it, the tip, the way it's shaped, it's really, really easy to use. If you struggle with winged liner, this might simplify it for you. Um, and it's so fine that you can really build the liner versus starting off with a really thick liner and trying to take it down or being careful when um, doing your liner so it's not too thick. I really like the wearability of it. It has a slight shine to it, but not one that bothers me. I don't like my liner to ever be shiny. I like it to be matte. This is what it looks like on my eyes right now. You can see it's not too shiny and you can easily build on it without it wiping away the liner. Some liners, the more you build, um, the more it takes off. And this one, it was easy to build without it flaking away. Next up, I have the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powders. And these do come in a variety of shades from fair all the way to deep. So they do add a slight tint to your base. They aren't completely transparent. And this is where I struggled a bit with these powders because I'm a medium skin tone and I used light medium all over my face with a poof. And while this one looks like it would be my shade, it translates a little dark. So I feel like it deepened up my base just a bit. And I also used light in the areas that I highlighted and this was too dark. So I feel like I would almost use fair in my highlighted areas and light all across my face. I'll have to try it out again. Um, but the powder itself, it's really, really silky to the touch. When you uh, rub it between your fingers, it feels super, super silky and soft and almost like it would be a blurring powder. And I actually really like the finish. I haven't checked 
if it gives flashback and I'm gonna show you guys how to check if a powder gives you flashback before you step outside and take a photo. What I do to test for flash is I grab my phone, I go to the camera and I use the good camera on the other side. I turn the flash on and I just take a photo of myself. Oh, usually away from studio lighting because that can affect it. I like to do it in the dark. So I'm gonna actually step away and take a photo and see if it flashes back based off this photo. So let's see, BRB guys. <laughs> okay, not the best photo, but I'm gonna show it to you guys anyway. So you can see I held the camera really close to my face. So that's not a flashback, that's just me being washed out by the light. But when I look at it up close, there's definitely not any flashback. I did use the LC um, Alkaline Facial Mist to set my makeup, and I think uh, using a setting spray or any kind of mist will really tone down any flashback that a powder gives because the reason you get flashback is not only because of the ingredients, but it's also how well you've blended the powder into your skin. So if you just lightly dust powder on your skin and you don't really work it in, it could just be sitting on top and that plus the ingredients will cause the flashback. So it looks like this powder passed the test. I think I just have to play around with the colors a little more and see which ones actually match me and won't take away from my highlighted areas. The Master Bronze Palette is up next and I was a little skeptical of this one, I'm not gonna lie, because when you swatch this palette, the swatches feel really dry to the touch, almost like you're not picking up anything at all. So I thought it was gonna be a dud and not be pigmented at all, which actually worked in my favor because the colors to me, none of them really spoke to me. I was like, this one's gonna be too dark, this one's too orange, and then these two are shimmery shades, so darker highlighter and a lighter highlighter, I'm assuming, or a shimmery bronzer as well. That's what you could use this one for. But I ended up using this one on my face today, and because they are a drier formula, and you don't pick up as much, it actually worked out because it went on my skin really soft. Is it my favorite bronzer? That I'm not too sure about. You guys know I'm super, super picky about bronzers, but in terms of a drugstore bronzer or contouring powder, I think that this shade in the palette is uh, lovely and you can make it work. Um, I'm just not too sure about the other three shades, especially the highlighter because, speaking of highlighters, you already know, if you saw my last favorites video, the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter is a must-have. It is so intense, glossy, it's a wet skin finish. It is incredible. I think out of all the new launches from Maybelline that I have in front of me, this one is definitely a standout product for me. And I think I will leave it at that and move on to the next product. All right, up next I have the new Fit Me Blushes. I'm wearing shade 50. And I thought this had a coral peach undertone. It definitely does not. The name of it is wine, so it's more of a plum color. I should have used shade number 35, which is called coral, to match the lipstick. I always like to go with the same blush color as the lip or the same undertone. Um, so I messed up there, but it still works. It still looks good together. The color range is awesome. They have everything from a super, super pale blush all the way to the really deep wine color. They go on nicely, good shade range and they're just a beautiful blush. Which by the way, you guys, Maybelline isn't paying me to say anything great about their products. They obviously took us on a trip, but they weren't like, use these products in a video and say that they're great. FYI, just want you guys to know that. <laughs> all right, the last product that I used for today's makeup look from all the new Maybelline products are the new Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I'm wearing the shade Heroin. When we were in the Hamptons, I saw this lip color on everyone, every skin tone. Crispy had it on, Shayla, uh, who else? I don't know. It was on every single skin tone imaginable and it looked good on everyone. So I obviously felt the need to use it in today's makeup look and see if it looked good on me as well. And I really like it. It's a really vibrant coral. As for the formula itself, I went on my Instagram stories and raved about the formula the other day because this is definitely the longest wearing lipstick I own. The color I wore in the Hamptons was, there was two. I believe I wore Loyalist and then Lover. Or actually, you know what? It wasn't this one. It was the lip gloss, which I will get to in a bit. Um, I wore one of the nude glosses in the Hamptons. And let me just tell you, I put this lipstick formula to the test because I wore it for a couple photos I was taking of an outfit and afterwards I went to take a shower and normally if I'm gonna be showering, I just take my makeup off in the shower and this day I just used my Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar, the white bar of soap, not the gray one. I always get the two names confused. There's two different bars of soap. Anyway, and that usually takes all of my makeup off. I do it once to take off my makeup and then a second time 
to just make sure there's nothing on my skin. So like a double cleanse action. And I did that in the shower that day. I get out of the shower and my lipstick is still perfectly on my lips. It had not moved, it hadn't budged, hadn't bled out, nothing. So when I say these have a staying power, they will stay on your lips until you wanna take them off, which makes sense why Maybelline also came out with this super stay eraser stick. It looks like a lipstick, but it's a cleansing balm made specifically for removing long wearing lipsticks. And it does get every little bit of uh, lipstick off your lips, whether it's these Maybelline ones or any other long wearing liquid lipstick, it will get it off your lips. So I'm assuming they created this because they were like, wow, these don't come off your lips. Um, but as for the formula, it's a little thicker than your average liquid lipstick. It's definitely not a watery consistency. It's a little creamier and um, you do have to work with it a little bit to get an even application all the way across, especially with heroin. I felt like I had to get a brush and just go over it in order to get the full pigmentation of it. Because if not, I felt like I could still see a little bit of my lips uh, through the lip color. So in order to get a nice even coat, I had to go over it a couple times. You definitely don't want to keep building this liquid lipstick though because it can build up really quickly and then feel really... Uh, heavy on the lips. So if you can, try to get it in one even clean swipe. And when you're touching up this lipstick, I recommend just removing the middle. So probably use this cleansing stick to remove it in the middle, take a little napkin, wipe off the middle, and then reapply it because these don't like to be built up. Uh, they will look uh, heavy on the lips. So I have noticed that from these lipsticks, but on a scale from one to 10 on how comfortable they are, I would say the wear is about a... I wanna give it like a seven. You know when your lips just feel like a little pruney because you added too much liquid lipstick? <laughs> and that can easily happen with these, so just be careful when applying them, but they will definitely wear for a very long time. <laughs> so like I mentioned earlier, they also came out with some new glosses that are a full coverage and almost look like a liquid latex, so high shine, full coverage, and they are called the Vivid Hot Lacquer Glosses. And the shade I had on in the Hamptons was, I'm pretty sure it was Unreal. Okay, I was right, it was the color Unreal. I wore it in this photo. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it was this one right here. You can't see it, it's washed out. And what's really cool is when I wore this on Snapchat, a lot of you were commenting that this was my perfect nude. And it is a beautiful shade of nude because it has a completely neutral undertone. So it's not pink or peach, it doesn't turn brassy on my lips, it's just a nice, uh, kind of like a washed out nude. I don't know, it's hard, to, it's hard to explain the color, but it looks really, really beautiful. And they have a good shade range of nudes. There's Charmer, Unreal, Tease. Too Cute is a little more towards the pink side, but still kind of a nude. So these are great if you like a gloss, especially a nude gloss. Try one of these four out. Another one of their really big launches were these color correcting pens. And I don't ever color correct, so I wasn't super drawn to these. However, I could see how this peach orange one would come in handy. Um, I would even use it if I had like a bruise or some pigmentation on my skin. I would use this because it's super, super creamy and fluid and has a high coverage. So it's a great uh, color correcting pen. I'm just not really drawn to color correcting. I don't really need it. I'm not a good candidate for it. Uh, but if you love color correcting, the formula, the formula of these is really, really awesome. And I like that it's in a pen form. So all you do is twist it up and it dispenses the product and you can see it's super, super creamy. And I like that their shade of orange isn't a coral neon orange or a super bright orange like my lip color. So I would actually use this under my eyes if I needed some brightening or any discoloration. This is gonna be a great option. And then of course you have your lavender, your pink, your yellow, and your green, which I will swatch for you guys. And finally, I have one, two, three, four, five new brushes. The one that really stands out to me is the powder brush. This is incredibly soft. You guys know how I like um, taking a large fluffy powder brush and buffing across the entire face. This one would actually be pretty good because it's so incredibly soft. And then we also have a little foundation brush, a contour brush, and a concealer and eyeshadow brush. And I think that covers everything new from Maybelline, including the items that I used for today's makeup look. Now I'm just gonna go over my top three products because I know this was a lot, so I just wanna share my absolute favorites out of all the new items. The first one is an obvious one. You guys already know what it's gonna be. The Master Chrome Highlighter. I don't have anything else to say about this because you've 
probably already heard it all, so just go out and get it. The City Mini Palette in Rooftop Bronze, like I mentioned earlier, I could easily see this becoming a daily go-to palette for a lot of people. And then the last item I will include in my top three is the Curvitude Liner because I find it to be equally as good and user-friendly. So that wraps up my top three. Let me know what caught your guys' attention, what you will be checking out. And now let's jump back into the vlog. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and enjoy the rest of the video. Me and Karen are like, <gasps> Las Bicicletas! Home sweet home for the week. All right, we're gonna check out the bedroom. Got my name on it. So cute. Ah! <laughs> this is so cool. It's got me going in the minute car, my baby. Workout with Gigi Hadid's trainer. Look at us all matching. frames on because if not I can't see Kyle looking so cute we're like ketchup and mustard <laughs> Like, how often does that happen? I forgot we were doing that. And I was like, why are we about to land in water? Are we crashing? And then I realized, okay, it's water landing. Yeah, you can 